Hi guys, Martini Neil here again, another quick instructional video. Get a lot of people who ring me and say I've got a problem with my Martini Henry because it's got a hair trigger, it has a tendency to get to, to go off really quite lightly. In 1874 this was a major problem with the Martini Henry because it originally had a two-part tumbler and had a tendency to skip over the tumbler rest if dirt got under the trigger assembly. With the advent of the Mark to action in 1876 they redesigned it so the tumbler itself sat squarely on top of the trigger tip now if we illustrate this here there's the tumbler you see that there look the tumbler operating and that sits squarely on top of the trigger tip so when you cock the action the tumbler drops lifts up sits on top of the trigger nose just there so when you fire the action the trigger is released and the tumbler flies forward okay you can see that action how that works there so here we go we'll cock it there we go bring it back up it's now cocked and ready to fire where you fire the weapon you depress the trigger there's a trigger seer there and the tumbler flies forward firing it off if you've got a hair trigger the most common cause is that the screw here which holds the trigger spring in is not tight so your trigger starts to become loose and of course it's got no tension on the tumbler rest and the tumbler here and the whole thing will fire forward and set off the gun early if that's the case disassemble the gun take a screwdriver tighten up the screw so the trick so the trigger spring is sitting nice and tight in its uh, recess here and you'll find that will solve the problem okay guys hopefully that sorted a few of you out thanks for watching